Hello everyone. Welcome back to Higher Study Prep, a complete guideline for higher education. We are doing the 1000 high frequency vocabulary series and from that series we are going to learn some new words along with their meaning, synonym, antonyms, mnemonics to remember them by and then finish off with a short story or paragraph using all the vocabulary that we will be learning today. Aesthetic. It's an adjective which means concerned with beauty or the appreciation of beauty. For example, the aesthetic sense of people always attracts them to the gallery of Lacquer Arts in Hanoi, featuring traditional Vietnamese arts. The mnemonic for remembering the word aesthetic can be broken up as aspiringly elegant and artistic. Some similar words to the word aesthetic can be the noun form of aesthetic, which means a set of principles underlying the work of a particular artist or artistic movement. For example, the cubist aesthetic. Aesthete means a person who is appreciative of art and beauty. Some synonyms of the word aesthetic as an adjective are aesthetic, artistic, elegant, exquisite. Some antonyms can be inelegant, uncouth. Solicitous. It's an adjective which means characterized by or showing concern, full of interest and concern. For example, Jack is very solicitous about the health of his close friend John as he has been a patient of asthma since his childhood. The mnemonics. In order to remember the word solicitous, we can break it up as solicit plus us or solicitor of us which means a solicitor or lawyer who needs to be mindful and concerned about his cases. Some synonyms to remember the word solicitous by are concerned, mindful, caring, whereas some antonyms can be unconcerned, insouciant. Arduous. It's an adjective which means involving or requiring strenuous effort, difficult and tiring. For example, the arduous effect of the workers had made the highway safe for driving. Mnemonic. In order to remember the word arduous, we can break it apart as ardent to be vigorous and audacious. That means art of being audacious. Some synonyms of the word arduous are hard, laborious, relentless. Some antonyms can be easy, simple. Anomalous. It's an adjective which means deviating from what is standard, normal or expected. For example, Mr. Simon has an anomalous sense of dressing in comparison to his colleagues. If his colleagues wear black attire, he will opt for a red outfit. The mnemonic for anomalous can be A which is not plus normal plus us which means not normal to us. That means abnormal or deviating from what is standard. Some synonyms for the word anomalous are abnormal, atypical, aberrant, unusual. Antonyms for the word are standard, normal, typical, regular. Cogent, it's an adjective which means clear, logical and convincing of an argument or case. For example, Jackson argued his case with such cogent reasoning that Austin had to rethink his decision. Mnemonic. We can break up the word cogent as co plus gent, which can mean cooperative agents that can make anyone convinced. Some synonyms for the word cogent can be compelling, potent, efficacious, persuasive, whereas some antonyms can be unconvincing, implausible, improbable. Corroborate. It's a verb which means to confirm or give support to a statement, theory or finding. For example, Mr. Warner corroborated that he saw Sam step on the golf ball to manipulate the result of the tournament. In order to remember the word corroborate by, we can divide it as cordially collaborate. Synonyms of the word corroborate are verify, justify, attest, or affirm, whereas the antonyms can be contradict, oppose, 
refute or rebut. Innocuous. It's an adjective which means not harmful or offensive. For example, the family felt safe to let the children play with their innocuous pets. The mnemonic. The innocuous word can be broken up as in plus noxious. That is in noxious, which is not noxious or harmful. In other words, harmless. Some synonyms for the word innocuous can be harmless, inoffensive, safe, innocent. Whereas the an antonyms can be harmful, obnoxious, unsafe, offensive. Ratify. It's a verb which means sign or give formal consent to an agreement or making it officially valid. For example, the powerless legislature had no choice but to ratify the edicts of the dictator. The mnemonic of the word ratify can be broken up as rationally verify. Some synonyms of the word ratify can be confirm, approve, sanction or accept. Some antonyms can be reject, revoke, refuse. Penchant. It's a noun which means a strong or habitual liking for something or tendency to do something. For example, David has a penchant for playing with colors and creating paintings of versatile design. Mnemonic. We can break down the word penchant as P plus ancient, where P stands for people. So it means a strong or habitual liking for something which enchants or spellbounds the people. Synonyms for the word penchant can be predilection, inclination, or preference. Some antonyms can be dislike, aversion. Fledgling, it's a noun, which means a person or organization that is immature or inexperienced. For example, Ben is a fledgling in terms of his driving skills and still has a long way to go before he can apply and test for his driver's license exam. The mnemonic for the word fledgling can be broken up as flow newly towards learning, which means immature in development and inexperienced. Some synonyms for the word fledgling can be neophyte, incipient, emergent. Antonyms for the word fledgling can be mature, fully fledged. Obdurate. It's an adjective which means stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or course of action. For example, the obdurate horse is always determined to resist for going for a ride. The mnemonic for the word obdurate can be broken up as obstinate which means stubborn plus duration. So it means stubborn over time or persistently stubborn. Some synonym for the word obdurate can be disobedient, recalcitrant, obstinate, refractory. Whereas antonyms can be obedient, amenable, compliant. Savor. It's a verb which means taste and enjoy it or appreciate something pleasant to the full. For example, among her birthday gifts, Taylor specially savored the chocolates. The mnemonic of the word savor can be thought of as serve the flavor to taste and enjoy it to the full. Synonyms for the word savor can be relish, like, enjoy. And antonyms can be dislike, distaste. Tyro, it's a noun which means a beginner or novice. For example, though Messi was a tyro in the world of football, he mesmerized the world by his masterly movements from an early age. The mnemonic for the word tyro can be used as try to grow and become a maestro, that is, a beginner who tries to grow and become a master gradually. The synonyms for the word tyro can be learner, neophyte, fledgling, whereas antonyms can be mature, expert. Implacable, it's an adjective which means unable to be appeased or placated. For example, when Peter sees a new toy and demands to have it, he starts to cry in an implacable manner. Mnemonic, for remembering the word implacable, just divide it as im, which means not, plus placable, which means easily pacified or calmed. So it means incapable of being calmed. Synonyms of the word implacable can be unappeasable, 
unpacifiable. Antonyms can be placable, appreciable, pacifiable. Mollify. It's a verb which means appease the anger or anxiety of someone or to soothe. For example, Jaina tries to mollify her child with her affection whenever she cries and it works like magic and the baby comes down. The mnemonic for the word mollify can be broken down as make the longing nullify. Synonyms for the word mollify can be appease, placate or pacify. Antonyms of the word can be enrage, infuriate or incense. We are now going to read a paragraph or a short story using all the words that we have learned so far. Try to remember their meanings as we go through the paragraph and in case you don't remember, feel free to stop the video and find the slide that has the word in it. Now let's begin. Ron has a great aesthetic sense when it comes to the matter of physic. Despite being a fledgling gymnast, Ron is very arduous in his training and penchant for achieving his goal. However, when it comes to food, he follows a rather animalist diet, which his mother believes is attributed to him still being a tyro in his field. Ron has provided several cogent reasons to corroborate his claim that the diet he follows is innocuous and wishes that his mother ratifies it. He in fact claims that he savors his new diet even more than his previous one. Solicitous with her son's arduous diet and abdurate actions, Mrs. Smith appears as if she has become implacable. However, Ron's courageous confidence and continuous persuasion mollified her and convinced her to agree with him. Thank you for watching the video. If you've liked it so far, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your valuable comment. And best of luck for your journey of learning new vocabularies.